Shibuya Breakfast and Brunch, 17 Recommended Food. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. This video introduces breakfast restaurants opened in the morning in Shibuya. In addition to breakfast, we'll introduce a total of 17 types of food, including dishes from a branch restaurant near Shibuya Station. Special breads and onigiri, only available in Japan, will also be introduced. Now, let's get started! We are now at Shibuya Station. In the past, this channel introduced recommended restaurants to enjoy eating and walking in Shibuya. If you haven't seen the previous videos, please check out the URL in the description box. The place to eat the breakfast we have booked this time is Miyashita Park, the popular sightseeing spot in Shibuya. Miyashita Park has various stores such as clothing stores and restaurants on the first through third floors. But the fourth floor is a park. The park is open from 8 a.m. and is a popular place to have breakfast or lunch. First, we'll introduce two restaurants in Miyashita Park. The first one is Valley Park Stand, located on the fourth floor. This cafe is located at the entrance of the hotel and is open from 8 a.m. There are a variety of dishes to enjoy coffee, such as bread, donut, and cakes. But what we would like to introduce here is the pita, which is a standard food in the Middle East and the Mediterranean. The pita filled with prosciutto, tomato, and cheese is baked to order and warm up before serving. The dough is crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. It has a nice salty taste from the prosciutto and cheese. The sourness of the tomato is a nice accent. The dish is perfect for breakfast. Next, we'll introduce this bakery, Bread, Espresso, and Machiawase. This bakery is open from 8 a.m. and is crowded with people in the morning. We'll introduce two of the most popular breads here. The first one is the croque monsieur, a classic French traditional hot sandwich. It smells great with plenty of cheese on it. The bread is soft and fluffy with the sweetness of butter and milk. The inside is filled with roast ham and camembert cheese. The black pepper has a slight pungency and a nice flavor. This bread tastes like gratin. The next dish is tartine, a French bread campaign baked with shrimp, avocado, and cheese on top. The shrimp has a nice, sweet and plump texture. The avocado and cheese are creamy. The tomato sauce with ground beef has a rich taste. Next, we'll introduce a restaurant in Shibuya Stream, which opened in 2018. Shibuya Stream is connected to Shibuya Station and is a two-minute walk from the station. The upper floors of the building are occupied by hotels and Google offices, but the first four floors are occupied by restaurants. The restaurant Katsuoto Bonta is introduced here. This restaurant is open from 8 a.m., where you can enjoy Japanese cuisine using high-grade dried bonito flakes and rice. Although the restaurant has an in-house dining area, this time we would like to introduce the popular onigiri available for pickup. We'll introduce a particularly popular onigiri. This onigiri is filled with premium dried bonito flakes. It also has sesame seeds in it, which gives it a nice flavor. The flavor of the dried bonito flakes fills the mouth. They are made one by one by a craftsman, so they are fluffy. The ginger also adds a refreshing aftertaste. Next, we'll introduce this bakery, Viron, located about a five-minute walk from Shibuya Station. This is a high-end bakery that uses French wheat Viron. They are open from 8 a.m. 
There are many kinds of bread and sweets in the store, and it is crowded with many people. Two kinds of bread are introduced at this store. The first one is a croissant. This croissant is made of high grade French butter, essary butter. It's a nice, buttery flavor. The outside is crispy, and the inside is moist. The size is large, but the texture is light, so it is easy to eat. Next, we eat the Queenie Amande, a traditional French baked pastry. It's a Danish made with plenty of butter and coated with caramel. The flavor of the bread is sweet. The crispy texture of the caramel is nice. The moist and fluffy texture of the Danish has a sweet, buttery taste. The slight bitterness of the caramel goes well with the sweet dough. Next, we'll introduce a store in Shibuya's underground shopping mall, Shibuchika. Incidentally, Shibuchika is located right under the scramble crossing. Tokyo Food Show is located in Shibuchika and contains many takeout specialty stores. It opens at 10 a.m., so we recommend coming during brunch hours. There are counters and tables inside the Tokyo Food Show, so you can eat your food right after you buy it. The first restaurant we'll introduce is Kaneko Hanosuke. This is a takeout specialty store operated by a Tendon specialty restaurant in Nihonbashi, Tokyo, which attracts a long line of customers. At this store, we introduce onigiri that are just the right size for breakfast. This is tenmusu, which is a shrimp tempura on top of an onigiri. It has a nice flavor of seaweed. The rice is seasoned with a sweet sauce to pour over the tempura bowl, so it has a strong taste. There's shrimp inside as well. The shrimp has a plump texture and a sweet taste. We also recommend the simply flavored tenmusu seasoned with salt. Next, we'll introduce this store, Tokachi Red Bean Sazai. This store specializes in Japanese style confections using red beans grown in Tokachi, Hokkaido. Their freshly baked obayaki are popular, but this time we would like to introduce taiyaki, which is perfect for breakfast. This taiyaki is made of bread dough and has a texture similar to Danish or croissant. It has a nice, buttery sweetness. Inside the taiyaki is red bean paste and shiratama made of rice flour. The shiratama has a nice, chewy texture. The red bean paste is not too sweet and has an elegant taste. Next, we would like to introduce this store, Koichiyan. This store specializes in seaweed rolls and seafood bowls. This time, we introduce inari, which is rice wrapped in deep fried tofu. This gorgeous inari is topped with salmon and salmon roe. This salmon roe is marinated in soy sauce and has a salty taste, so it can be eaten without any sauce. The inari skin is sweetly seasoned and goes well with the vinegar rice. The salmon is fatty and melts in the mouth. The salmon roe has a nice popping texture. Next, we'll introduce this bakery, Junibun Bakery. This store is popular bakery, also located in Shinjuku and Sangijaya, and this store opened in 2021. Many stylish breads are sold here, and we'll introduce two popular breads. The first one is Am Butter Friends, which is a baguette sandwich with red bean paste and butter. The baguette has a moderately hard texture. The sweet red bean paste and the saltiness of the butter are a perfect match. The texture of the red bean skin is still there, which is nice. Next, we introduce the Honey Toast. The sweet flavor of honey is great. The outside is crispy, but the inside is chewy. The sweetness of honey fills the mouth and makes you feel happy. It is thick, but the texture is light, so it is easy to eat. Next, we'll introduce this store, Pao Pao. 
This store specializes in Chinese takeout. Although we recommend the shumai, we would like to introduce the steamed pork buns. These steamed pork buns are made from wato mochi buta, a premium brand of pork. The dough is fluffy and moist. The meat juices overflow from the inside. The sweetness of the onion and the texture of the shiitake mushrooms add a nice accent. The size is large and satisfying. Next, we'll introduce this store, Toriki Burger, located about a 5-minute walk from Shibuya Station. This restaurant specializes in chicken burgers using Japanese chicken meat. It is open from 7 a.m., so it is recommended for breakfast. By the way, this restaurant is operated by Torikizoku, a yakitori restaurant with more than 600 branches all over Japan. We'll introduce two kinds of popular chicken burgers. The first one is a chicken burger with steamed chicken, tomato, and lettuce sandwich. It is made with a fluffy and moist dough. It is seasoned with basil sauce, which gives it a crisp and fresh flavor. This chicken burger is healthy and recommended for those who want a light breakfast. Next is the most popular Toriki Burger. It is a burger with fried chicken inside. The bun is grilled, so the outside is crispy. The sauce is mayonnaise with lemon, so it tastes fresh. The fried chicken has a nice subtle spiciness from the black pepper. The chicken is tender and juicy. It's a very satisfying chicken burger. Next, we'll introduce the stores in Shibuya Mark City, a commercial facility connected to Shibuya Station. There are about 20 stores on the fourth floor of Shibuya Mark City. This time, we'll introduce this store, Jean Flansois. It is a bakery supervised by a famous French baker and offers a wide variety of baked goods. It is open from 8 a.m., so it is recommended for breakfast. Here are two types of bread that we particularly recommend. The first one is this bread with fried onions wrapped in a pie crust. It has a nice buttery flavor. The dough is crispy and addictive. The onions inside are slowly sautéed, so they have a sweet taste. The cheese is melting. The black pepper has a nice accent. It tastes like onion gratin soup. Next, we introduce the most popular item, the melon bread. This melon bread sells over 100,000 pieces a year. The outside is covered with sugar and have a crispy, cookie-like texture. The dough is moist and chewy. It has a buttery sweetness. By the way, this melon bread is a limited menu item that can only be purchased up to three per person. Lastly, we introduce this store, Togoshiya. This is the onigiri specialty restaurant introduced in a previous video. It is open from 8 a.m. on weekdays, and both in-store dining and to-go are available. By the way, the most popular item at this store is a rice ball with egg yolk and minced chicken. This time, we would like to introduce the onigiri for those who do not like raw egg. It is a grilled salted salmon onigiri. The seaweed gives it a nice flavor. It is fluffy because it is handmade one by one by artisans. There's plenty of salmon inside. The fatty salmon goes well with rice. We recommend this onigiri for breakfast. By the way, the beef wasabi onigiri introduced last time is also delicious, so be sure to give it a try. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.